Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the last episode, we came to... I think I know what this place is called, but I don't want to say it. Yes, it is. Okay, there's actually a guy in my stream called Mithrin. It's a bit of a different spelling, but he's very prevalent in the Twitch streams. And I was like, am I replacing this knowledge in my brain with a guy that I know well on the stream? Yeah, but his name is Mithrin, so anyways, that's why I was confused. Yes, we came to tell Mithrin and met up with Neloth, the Telvanni wizard. Not sure if we know he's a Telvanni wizard yet, but he is, rest assured. Um, and yeah, we, we can see, like, this cool little mushroom... Not a town, but whatever you want to call it. Like a little, little, little get-together of people. Um, and it's awesome. I love Morwind, and I love this part of Dragonborn. I love how they have the Morwind music playing right now. It's wonderful. I love how we can platform on the shrooms. I can channel my inner 90s kid and uh, platform all of these platforms to my platforming content. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's take, let's take a look at what we're doing. The Path of Knowledge. <clears throat> In order to defeat Mirak, I need to find more of Hermaeus Mora's black books, the source of his knowledge and power. The Tovani wizard, well, there we go. Neloth found one of those books in the dwarven ruin of Nichardak, but it is locked inside some kind of protective mechanism. Maybe together we can find a way to get at this black book. Travel to Nichardak with Neloth. But before we do that, uh, there are seven black books in this DLC, and they're all amazing and have amazing rewards. Now, we already have our hands on one of them. I think they are actually in books. Yes, they are. Black Book, Waking Dreams. Now, the last time we read this book, we were sucked into Apocrypha, which I don't know if they've talked about that just yet, but it is Hermaeus Mora's realm, Daedric realm. Um, and I don't think we knew that we were in Apocrypha, but we were in Apocrypha. So we're going to go ahead, and if, you, if you're having trouble understanding that, basically if you've played Oblivion, you know when you go to the Daedric realm of Oblivion, the namesake of the game, uh, that is the Daedric Realm of... Oh my god, I always forget this guy's name, but I know it so well because I've played Oblivion so much. No, Mayrun's Dagon. There, there we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's the Daedric Realm of Mayrun's Dagon. Each uh, Daedra, Daedra has its own realm, and I'm getting to territory where I shouldn't be talking about because, again, not the lore guy, but I know Periite's Daedric Realm is Quagmire. I don't think we've seen that in video game form yet. Um, let's see. We have... Oh, I forget what... Uh, what, uh, not sanguine, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's the Thieves Guild one, Knight, oh my god, no, what, oh, see, see how bad my memory is with lore, I, I know their names, that's the thing, Nocturnal, there we go, Nocturnal, I, I'm not sure, uh, what Nocturnal's Daedra Realm is, I'm sure I've heard it before, it's like the Midnight something, or the Twilight, or something like that, um, I don't know why I'm rattling these off, and I'm not sure. Uh, Cold Harbor is uh, Moloch Balls. We know that from the Elder Scrolls Online. We start off there. Um, yeah, and it just goes from there. Uh, 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 yeah, so. The Shivering Isles, Sheogorath, but are they called something different? I, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to stop here because if I took a step back and to think about it, I could actually come up with these. But right now, in the middle of recording something, I can't. So I don't know why I'm even saying this. But yeah, we're going to test basically to see if we can journey back to Apocrypha by reading this black book, Waking Dreams. We can't read too much of it as soon as you activate it. Uh, the hentai tentacles come out and grab us and force us to do things we don't want to do, but secretly do, I guess. That's the whole point of hentai, right? They secretly like it. Why am I getting into this now? I don't know. Let's not. All right. Anyways. <laughs> so we're now in the realm of Apocrypha. And it's kind of a, a boring realm. I, well, it's it's better than um, Oblivion. Because that was my least favorite part of Oblivion. Ironically, was heading to Oblivion. Because it was all the same crap. Just fire and brimstone and, and evil dudes everywhere. Um, Apocrypha is the land of knowledge and secrets, and as you can see, all the walls are made out of books. It's every nerd's dream. Uh, we have a lot of books, and we have a lot of scrolls and, and, and rolls of paper and things like that. And that's the main goal of Apocrypha here. But, like I had hoped, we can actually es explore Apocrypha now, whereas before, obviously, uh, Mirak made us go back. So, Yes, uh, this is Apocrypha. There's tentacles bound, and there's black murky water. If you're thinking to yourself, hey, Gro uh, Grovana, jump into that water and uh, just swim around. No, no, uh, that looks like some horrible, horrible water that you don't want to jump into. 
uh, looks very oily, and I don't put product in my hair in real life. I don't think Adronach puts product into his hair in uh, Skyrim, so we're, we're going to abstain. We're going to abstain from that. Oh, is this one not even a... Not even like a, an extended section. So let's just do a little bit of exploring. Uh, for those of you that have not seen Apocrypha. Uh, we have a little pod here which I believe acts like a... Yes, acts like a treasure chest. You can see lots of books which which are life's real treasures. <laughs> um, and I, I don't even know if we can find skill books in these. Uh, I guess it's worth it to check. I would imagine it's not like a, a chance thing. Because that means you could just, you know... Every now and then get a skill book, and then you don't have to actually look for them. You could just uh, basically grind them out in Apocrypha. So here we have another pod. Um, we'll take that. But Wethy is proving interesting. That's another Daedric-related uh, book. Daedra-related book. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff. Not too much. Just a bunch of random books. Okay. So, I think our prize lies right in front of us, which is fine with me. We have a book here. Open Chapter 2. What happened to Chapter 1? Huh. Oh, that's... Never mind. This is probably not our prize. If we open Chapter 2, it takes us to Chapter 2. As I told you, when I gave you the other one, Oh, God! Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. Saint, do not thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my life. If you tire of this book, read your book again. What is the learn of Apocrypha? We call you back. It is your Anything else, big floating blob of tentacles? No, you're gonna leave now? Okay. So that was obviously Hermaeus Mora. Very interesting that we completed the Ogma Infinium quest. I'm not sure if I did that the last time I came to Apocrypha before. I like these little uh, book tornadoes, by the way. Um, yeah, so, as Hermaeus Mora informed us... Oh, and what I meant by that was uh, he referred to us completing the Ogma Infinium quest. Which is really cool, because obviously we've met him before. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I beat the Ogma Infinium um, quest before Dragonborn was released, and I think Hermes Mora looked different uh, than that tentacled mass, and I think they changed the base texture uh, after you install Dragonborn. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, Seekers here are the things that sent us back the last time, and they're really, really, really creepy looking, and they also drop random scrolls, random books, etc. Um, so yeah, we're in chapter 2 right now of this black book, uh, which it's a little bit difficult to explain, and I don't know if I want to explain it right now, how this, how these, uh, black books work, but you guys can see basically, it's, it's just, uh, what's, what's all that rumbling? Alright, we're gonna take that and that, we're getting a lot of soul gems here, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, okay. So anyways, we're, our goal here is to complete this book this black book and basically what that entails is moving along until you find oh is that it boneless limbs oh that's right okay i'm, I'm remembering how these sections of gameplay work so yeah books activate the it's it's all about do you guys get that it's all about books do you guys get that that's the theme for this for this place it's everything's books uh, yeah so yeah we took the book and i don't think it actually goes into our oh it did didn't it is it in our books? Boneless limbs. Boneless limbs. Yeah, on Apocrypha. Boneless limbs. Um, I think this is not... Oh, look at that. A writhing mass of heaped appendage. Slipping grasp the squirming slick. Extend the reach to touch the face. Burn the mind. Reveal the quick. Uh, and that was it. So, nice little poem there. Nice little ditty about Jack and Diane. Okay, chapter three. So yeah, it's basically just moving on through the chapters until we get our reward. And uh, obviously a lot of players are probably never even going to do this one because, you know, you 
read the book, you go into here, Mirak sort of uh, sends you back, and then they don't think to open it again. But you will see what we get. Oh! Wow, that did a lot of damage to me. Okay, yeah, uh, we're not even going to bother using Bound Sword here, because as you can see, these guys are quite tough. So we're going to rely on the kindness, I was going to say of strangers, but that doesn't make sense. There's also fonts of X. We just found a font of Magicka there that will obviously restore Magicka. Quite an interesting place. I like the look of it. It looks very cool and unique. Um, but the problem that I have with it, Song of the Alchemists. Well, I would imagine, yes, that that's going to be alchemy. Um, yeah, the problem that I have with it is it's sort of bland. Um, there's not really too much once you once you grasp all of the uh, main mechanics of this place. You know, you find this book, Delving Pincers. That's going to open up something. What did that open up, though? Uh, let's go ahead and read these books as we find them. Delving Pincers. Crushing razors, hollow shells, that snap, that twitch, that cinch and rend, to hold the subject bodily till mind blows soft and life meets end. I wonder who wrote these. I wonder who had the job of writing all of these little... I don't know what you would call them. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of versed in um, um, literary terms, but as far as poetry, not really. I never really was too interested in poetry. Okay, so here we have a, a scry... Which is a neat little sort of key thing. I really like the look of that. And then it extends this. And so now that this has happened, you guys have pretty much seen all of the mechanics uh, in Apocrypha. They basically reuse this. But I can't complain because if I think about it, they created a whole separate like world, you know, just for exploring. And you don't even have to do it. You don't even have to read the black books, although the rewards are great, which you will see. Okay, what do we have here? Catalog of Weapon Enchantments. Sounds like enchanting to me, but we have already read it, unfortunately. Okay, you can see we're getting a lot of skill books and more fonts here. Okay, let's see. Can we go down there? Oh, is that where we started? Most likely, right? Yeah, I remember, I remember that, Ash Pile. All right, so we have a scry here and another pod. Thank you. Uh, ooh, spell tomes we can check, but obviously we've learned most spells at this point in the game. All right, activate the scry, and what does that do? Opened up that door over there. <laughs> My two guys here, uh, Thorn and Spike, are probably like, what the hell is going on? Uh, I, I think most Daedra have a, uh, a hatred for other Daedra, right? So these two guys would probably really dislike being here in the realm of another Daedra. Uh, yeah, because they're, they, they come from Oblivion. All conjuration is conjured from Oblivion, right? I don't really know how that works. Um, but yeah, I would imagine these guys belong to Mayroon's Razor. Well, they belong to me, and they know that. We have a vessel here, which I think is just a bigger chest. Yes, indeed. Lots of various stuff here. Uh, but we're going to leave most of it because I'm pretty sure it's just going to weigh us down. We already have access to those enchantments. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Can't go that way. And it looks like this is a dead end as well. But I'm not seeing another scry. We must have missed it. We can definitely go through there because there's a font of Magicka. Which means we just need to find a scry, I would imagine. I think a scry is the only thing that can open that up. Um, oh, there we go. Didn't see this before. We have another pod. Take the gold. The waters of oblivion. That's not what we're dealing with here. Okay, prying ores, which is going to open up that door in the distance, no doubt. Let's read this one as well. What takes the world in lightened sense can also seek the outward gleam. They rob the all of essence to report the nothing they have seen. I seriously wonder if like any thought was put into this. I'm sure it was. But I wonder if some guy was just like, yeah, that sounds kind of ambiguous and, and mysterious. Yeah, that, that's good. We'll put that in there. And they're just like, nice job, Rob, on that on that creepy poem. He's like, yeah, no problem. I have a... I have a bachelor's in poetry, remember? And they're like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Save that save that for, for your family. Okay, chapter four. Uh, some of these, I think, if I remember right. Okay, that's cool. Just hit me as soon as I spawn and don't even give me a chance to hit back. That, that, that's cool. Okay, it wouldn't summon for a second. And I was thinking, what happened to the other guy? Where are you guys going? All right, well, I, I would think you guys would go up to these guys first. But okay, just do what you want to do, I suppose. Um, I would continue the thought that I just had, but to be honest, I don't remember what it was. Alright. Some more gold, some more books. What else is new? 
I'm gonna go ahead and summon another one. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. Oh look at that. Interesting. Um, I don't think it means anything though. Uh, yes, it didn't summon Thorn and or Spike for a second there, and I was like, ooh, I wonder if there's a chance that you don't summon, or you can't conjure in here since it's another Daedric Realm, but obviously, no, that's not the case. Okay, no books that we can read here. I think they handled, nice job, guys. You guys just, you guys are so amazing. I, do I praise you guys enough? I feel like I do, but man, I just, you guys, you guys are just, yeah, you're wonderful. You guys are wonderful. You guys are so good at what you do, and that face paint, I think you guys put it on each other, like, at the start of every day, right? You're like, this will please Adronach, and it does. It does. You, you guys are just, yeah, thank you for It's a wonderful job. Oh, watch out for the whips! Forgot to tell you guys about the whips. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Should have told you guys. All right, moving on. Um, I also was saying, I think some of these black books are far longer than the others, but I would imagine the first one would be kind of swift, since it's your introduction. <laughs> Get it? Like a book? <laughs> Uh, to Apocrypha. Okay, yes, and I'm not moving right now. It's like moving me closer. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, you can see that. This it's, is pretty cool. I like how they did this. Um, Alright, so I think that means... Hey, GV, you should go this way. Well, this way is blocked right too. Shouldn't be using these because... I'm just sort of wasting them in case I need them later on. Where did this go? I guess there's a seeker back here. Have we been here before? Oh, this is confusing. I am not sure. By the way, I like how there's little, like, lamp lights as well. Like, street lights in Apocrypha. Okay, um, I don't remember these street lights, so I'm thinking we haven't been here before and just sort of moved me along where I need to go? I'm hoping, anyways. Uh, let's see, okay. Anything here? Ah, yes. Gnashing Blades. Gnashing Blades. Bone extrusions gash and grind in moistened depths of smacking heat, while tearing flesh from adverse bone, the body whole prepares to eat. Really gross, some of these passages, you know? Really, really, really gross. I'm not sure what that opened, but I'm assuming it extended uh, the place that... Oh, wait, no, we haven't gone this way, I don't think. Yeah, you can see how you would get confused, though. This place is really very similar looking. A lot of it is just the same thing over and over again. Um, no, 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 I didn't say... What are you doing? Oh. Gosh. This is your mind on drugs. Okay, uh, let's see. So this is a dead end, then? Any skill books I should... Oh, ooh, the Red Book of Riddles. I don't think that's enough, though. No, it's not. Okay, excuse me, tentacles. I'm just trying to learn. Okay, we're gonna have to look through this quick, I guess, because they're getting ornery. Alright, I don't believe we went down this path just yet. I would like this to be over. <laughs> the first time I went through one of these black books, it was like, wow, this is cool, man. And I always love it when we find another Daedric Realm to look at, you know. But uh, after doing all seven and then coming back, it kinda, kinda, after four chapters, it's time to end the book. You know what I mean? It's it's uh, time, time to end the book. So let's go up here. Oh, hi there. I'm just going to appear. Huh? You guys don't deal too much damage. You guys are just, uh, you guys are just really tanky, I noticed. Okay, yeah, shoot your little green balls of knowledge. That's fine. Um, I think we'll definitely start speedrunning these sections later on. Because, like I said, all you can really find if you're exploring are skill books. And we've read most anyways. We have another scry here. What's that going to do? We should be able to see it, right? What? What that? Okay. Yeah, that moved back. All right. That's a little aspect of game design, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. If you... If you have sort of a key or a switch or something, uh, you want it to be in view of the person when they activate it. You want them to sort of see immediately what that switch did, because obviously it will be confusing if they don't, and they could get confused and, and backtrack, and that's not fun. So, yeah, we activated the scry, and then directly in front of us, we could see the wall shifting. So, all right, what in the world do we have here? We have some sort of green light emanating from this pool of blackness. Oh! So we have a boss fight. Okay. Hi there. I've dealt with your kind before. What, what's your name, sir? Are you just a normal lurker or or what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and soul tear you regardless of what you are. Lurker Sentinel. Ah, I believe you're of the uh, more advanced variety. I don't know if I can jump into your blackness. But I'm going to anyway so that I can slash at your buttocks. Okay. Uh, your job is to give me a... 
point into one-handed, and you failed your job, Mr. Lurker Sentinel. But you gave me 500 gold, and you know what? That's a that's a nice consolation prize. Okay, let's see. We have another scry, and before we activate that, let's go over here because I see some treasure chests and things. Oh, and another. Wait, there was one over there. What is this open? This? Oh, son of a bitch. That opens the main door, and this one opens the bonus door. Alright, well, give me the bonus door. Thank you. Okay, let's go over here and open up the vessel. Which is going to have a bunch of random things, as usual. Some gold. Ode to Tundra Striders. That must be a new book, because I don't remember seeing that often. Spell Tome Conjure... Oh, okay then. Well, yeah, we definitely want to find that because that is obviously a very new book summons a seeker for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing um yeah and obviously the seekers are those little floating tentacle monsters that we've been seeing oh that's a scry okay it looks very much like a pod all right so interesting i guess well that's another thing we have to keep a lookout for some conjure uh new enemy books okay are we done here is this the final chapter chapter five like I said, I think some have, like, Chapter 7, Chapter 8, maybe even Chapter 9, things like that. Whereas some can just go to Chapter 4. But this one is lasting for a long time. Okay, but I do remember... Ah, that's right. Okay, so there are some unique things with um, certain black books. And again, we're on black book number 1. Okay, so you can see here, it's got a, a pedestal. And there's an image of sort of some, like, uh, jaws, right? So we need to go into books, and we need to... Oh, well, I guess we can just activate this. The pedestal stands empty. What book would you like to place? Um, so this one should be... It's either gnashing... So these are all allegories for parts of the body, right? Prying orbs is going to be eyes, for sure. Pincers, blades, gnashing blades. It's so it's either one of, it's one of these. And I remember the first time I did this, I think I got them wrong. Delving pincers that sounds like arms right like like claws but i don't know i'm gonna put gnashing blades i'm gonna assume that's right uh we'll do this by process of elimination anyways though hello pod oh thank you okay oh hello pod thank you okay and this is obviously prying orbs because it's an eyeball moving right along. I hope it's some sort of arms. If it's that, then I'm definitely right. Flawless diamond. Very nice. Hey, 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 hey. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. You got the best of me. Congratulations. Well, what is the... Okay, hold on. Oh, it's... Okay, I was wondering if Conjure Jamora Lord was in my left hand. Where are they being summoned to, damn it? Alright, what is this? Oh, what the hell? Uh, boneless... Gotta be boneless limbs, right? Because it's like tentacles, and tentacles don't have bones, I'm assuming? That makes sense? Maybe? Huh. And this one is... Yeah, pincers. Okay, I think we got that right. Looks like it. Everything's glowing. That's usually a good sign. And straight ahead... Chapter 6... Damn it! It still goes on! Alright, into chapter 6. I didn't think this whole entire episode would be a black book, but... Oh, well, this is a part of the 100%. We will be doing all of these. But like I said, once we uh, move a little bit further, once we get to the next black books and the books there on out. Ooh, this is destruction, uh, which we obviously have 100 of. Uh, we'll just start to speed through these. Yeah. Can't open this pod. Why not? Huh. Interesting. All right, boys. I think this is the end, though, because we just solved the big puzzle. Is that a word? Oh! Okay, we got a huge boss fight here. Is that a for Rizzle, a word wall? Interesting. Okay, alright, um, let's do this right. Blackbait Highborn, you guys know the deal. Summon our boys for the longest time available. Grab ourselves a big old buff. Dual cast it when we can, like so. Oh, what the hell did we just... No! Damn it. That was a downgrade. Okay, let's let's resummon these guys like so. We uh, need to cast Ebony. I mean, by the time we do this, anyways, they're gonna be dead. But let's just do some exploring while we're doing this. There we go. Dual casted Ebony Flesh, and uh, and now we'll just grab Incinerate and light these guys up. Perfect shot by Adrenoc. Really, really showing off his hundred in destruction ability. I mean, just come on, man. How can they hope to? 
Boom! There we go. Like I said. Alright, let's loot the lurker. They seem to have a lot of gold. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you guys take care of those seekers. I don't really like them too much. And indeed, we have a word wall here, which I'm thinking I know what it's going to be then. Should be... Dragon Aspect. Yes, because I was thinking it could be that or it could be Ben Will. But I'm pretty sure Ben Will you have to get um, at some point. I'm pretty sure you the game forces you to get all words of Ben Will. So awesome, we got another part of Dragon Aspect, and I'm not sure where the last one is, but if we can easily access it, look at this, is there a secret behind here? The answer is no. Um, if we can somehow access it fast, and by the way, look at this word wall, it looks different, it looks really cool. I like this, I like this style, uh, oh wow, uh, Thorn's enthralled, <laughs> which, he's like, he has like a thousand yard stare there, hey man, what's going on? He's just like, reading intently. Okay, uh, yeah, I like these. I like this design. I don't know what you would call this. I don't know if too many games utilize it, but, like, moving text on a solid thing. It, it's cool. I like it. All right. Um, I hope that's not it, though, because I was expecting a different reward. Now, that's fine. Dragon Aspect is the strongest shout in the entire game. We just need the third one to really make it work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Slow your roll. Um, okay, so I hope maybe if we go back... Wait a second. No, really? There's not a... I'm hoping I didn't just miss it. I don't think I did. I guess the reward is just that. Okay, so we definitely can't go back, I don't think. It's it's closed off. Right? Yes. All right, so the only way out of here is to read the black book once more. And I'm not going to spoil what I thought the reward was going to be. Uh, I guess it's just different for this one. Um, but I think the other six give you a certain thing that we definitely want. But either way, we're back in the realm of normalcy, I guess. And uh, now with another uh, word of dragon aspect. Let's go ahead and unlock it because it's awesome. And we're going to favorite it too. Uh, so we got strength and armor, so I guess we get an armor buff and a strength buff, but there's really not a, like, a damage buff in this game, is there? So, I don't know what that means. Maybe it just increases your health or your stamina. That sounds more likely. And now we just need the last one. Um, and I don't know where that is, but I'm pretty sure they show it to you, uh, at some point. So, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, there are six more black books with very, very good rewards, uh, which we will do all of them. But like I said, we'll run through them as fast as possible from here on out because they just take a very long time to complete. And there's, they're not too interesting once you see Apocrypha uh, in all of its glory. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!